Section 3. Which of the two isomers are more stable? Is the cis isomer more stable or is the trans isomer more stable? For this, I have illustrated here the example of but2ene. This is the cis isomer and this is the trans isomer of but2ene. This is cis but2ene, this is trans but2ene. Now, I tell you that the trans isomer is more stable. The trans isomer is more stable than the cis isomer. Why? Let us look at the cis isomer. Here you can see two bulky groups. There is an overlap of electron cloud of the two bulky groups. There is an overlap of the electron cloud of the two bulky groups. This overlap creates repulsion between the electrons of the two bulky group. Not only the electrons but of the nucleus also. There is electron there is repulsion between nucleus as well as electrons of the two bulky groups because of the overlap of their molecular orbitals therefore cis isomer is not stable it is not so stable whereas in the trans isomer you are seeing that there is no overlap of the electron clouds and these bulky groups are at the farthest position available or possible this there is no kind of steric repulsion in trans isomer because there is no overlap of bulky groups while you can see here the steric repulsion because of overlap of their molecular orbitals so therefore for this reason the trans isomer is more stable than the cis isomer